Yo, so if y'all don't know, Just Pearly Things has just disrespected MTR mediocre tutorials and reviews in about the worst way. Like, she she just getting real white and ratchet with this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she 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 going there. Like, if, if you don't know, she did an interview with Nick Fuentes <clears throat> after she did some content with MTR dating show things, this, that, and other content they went and did together. And then she released this Nick Fuentes thing where she had no black people on the panel and this, that, and other to refute any of the uh, racist ideologies that he had to talk about. And it was like, why now did you choose to not have any black people around when you always, Pearl, have black people around to talk about subjects? So MTR was like, I don't want anything to do with it. Don't release the stuff that we put together. And you was wrong for that. He called her out. And for that, I don't know if you know, but MTR had a battle with cancer at one point, I think last year. And she chose to laugh at my man's battle with cancer because he was like, yo, don't put my videos out that I did with you. I, I, I think you did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But this this how this whole thing went. I'm going to play some of it for you. For all the reaction channels that came for me the last two months, i just like to say, number one, any request to not have the dating show put out is very selfish because the employees that you're so concerned about, they did not, in fact... Are they, they put in their time, their effort, and all the other content creators that came forward. So it's very selfish to ask us not to post stuff because of your selfish needs. Now, because of that, I don't care. We will be posting that this week. Um, request denied. <laughs> denied. So listen, y'all got a difference of, of opinion, but MTR is very respectful and very intelligent. He never called. Uh, Pearl out her name or went off on her and this, that, and that. He just stated the facts of how things went down and how he felt about him and he said she was wrong. Now, for that, she just, she disrespects and said, request denied. We're going to play it anyway. Okay. All right. Do what you want to do. Um, also, guys, Blessing is still waiting for your call it, for your concern about him. Especially those of you that were in studio and didn't ask for his, and didn't ask um, some of you connected with him on Instagram that were in studio, not going to name names, and never reached out to him. Most definitely. Same with Auntie and some of my other talents. So so I guess that statement was referring to um, people saying they are concerned about the black talent that she has around her. But she's saying that nobody has reached out to the black talent after they stated their grievances or whatever, whatever. And part of that was because of my man, Saura Garvey, who was not happy with the contract with, that was presented to him, 70 30s in Pearl's favor. And he was like, well, why would I be doing all the work and give you 70% and give me 30%? But people like Auntie, who she mentioned, and the producer, or whatever. the other people around her are happy with taking these peanuts. And she tried to copyright strike Saura Garvey's channel and all that for the content they did together, you know, just because he was speaking out about this terrible contract that he got. We'd also, we're also going to be doing, um, a very interesting video coming up about the unfair journalism in the space. Yep. And really giving some examples of where journalism has gone awry. And I'm really excited to put that video out. God only knows because, you know, blessing is very, you know, slow sometimes you know he's a perfectionist so it's got to be perfect but it's fine you know he is the best he is top producer he's the best producer in the game so it'll be coming out but the yeah we're excited to release all dating show episodes and pearl has taken yet another dig at mtr talking about she want to release more dating footage but look she she want to say blessings is the is the best producer in the game and i ain't taking nothing away from him i don't know what he do this that another but I, i'm just gonna say o'shea duke jackson where i got this video from uh him and dima his his editor they kill y'all they dig a grave and kill y'all every day like cut it out like i don't i don't know what blessings does 
and I know y'all two shows are are two separate things. You know what I'm saying? In the format or whatever, yours is more podcast. O'Shea Duke is more different. But come on, like O'Shea and Dima and MTR, like they kill you and dig your grave every day in content and production and editing every day. Like cut it all the way out. Yeah, I was gonna give them a sneak preview, but I was like, I'll oh, give it to them. Let's show them. Come on, let's show them a sneak preview, guys. All right. Exclusive. I'm gonna give them the trailer though. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wait. Someone said Tate Fuentes and Gabby. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if we should release all dating show footage because they care about the black content creators that were involved in the footage, don't they? Yeah. They wouldn't be so selfish. Yeah, a lot of ones in there. A lot of ones. Yeah, they, they wouldn't be so selfish to not want to release that footage that the staff that they were so con- so concerned about worked so hard on. And she keeps throwing shots and this, that, and other, as you can see. But it's like somebody is paying workers $10 an hour to do an astronomical job. And then somebody else comes in like, y'all get $10 for that? We get $30 an hour to do this job. Why would, why would you do that for this? And she's like, why would you tell them? You know what I'm saying? But the workers are still so indebted to her or feel like they are that they still riding with her on this. Why would you challenge her on this $10? I work good for $10. Hey, I eat good. I ain't got no problem working for $10 out. Shame on you coming in and putting that $30 in my face. Blessing, did you receive a call? I didn't receive a call. <laughs> Told them about your trauma. <laughs> Listen, I've, you know, gained weight. It's stressing and stressing. <laughs> That's why I'm in the gym, you know, <laughs> traumatized daily, you know, keep the ones coming, keep the ones coming, yeah. you know. Now, did anyone, so all those job offers that were offered to my staff, did anyone take those? Man, no one wants to work for them green screen people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you know. they're, they're whore, it's... You don't know my condition. Like, come work for me, bruv, you are, you are somewhere in America, how am I even going to get there, you know, so pay attention. Anyway, he didn't say he didn't want to work for him. He said, how am I even going to get there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if, so if the money was right and the passage was right, you would hop, skip, and jump on over to America and work for my man. Right? You just try to disguise it like it was something crazy. For you. I wouldn't even. But how would I even get there? Why would you even ask how would you get there if you, if you didn't want to work for him? You know what I'm saying? People, Tell them what you thought of their production quality. A lot of people need help out there. That's why I'm starting a tech channel. I just want to help you guys. Yeah, Blessing is, doesn't do charity. He doesn't... You know, we, we pay well at JPT. We don't... Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, like, we don't... He doesn't... You're not going to these charity channels. This isn't charity work. <laughs> Yeah. Cher- Boy, some of y'all white folk are meta music. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I said some and not all. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all get out of pocket just as this wretched white wench is here. She trying to tell this dude, like they do a charity work. They do a charity work working for you. 70 30? Is you nuts? And she said that was the best contract that she had gave out. So most people was getting what? 20%, 15%, maybe 10%. Right? And doing all the work, bringing all the traction. Like when you sign up to Just Pearly Things Network, it ain't like their subscribership gives you that much more viewership. It doesn't. The, the, the facts say that. Like the viewership is not really what y'all think it is. She's giving you minor viewership and you doing all the work and then she's giving you 10 or 20% of your money. Imagine that. And then, and then talking about other people doing charity work. Girl, colonizer at his best. Before Pell, I worked with a lot of people, like those that offered me jobs, you know. And I know how you normally how people like that function, no saying names. You should just... Someone say, is that the dude with one nut? Yes, that's the dude with one nut. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um... <laughs> Stop, stop, why would you do that? Stop, why would you guys do that? And so here this ratchet white wench is laughing at my man's battle with cancer, battle with life, uh, like it's nothing. Imagine one of the fellas laughing at y'all going through breast cancer. I'm just saying. 
And listen, I believe in getting a joke off. I believe in joking about stuff and testing the joke. But she ain't a comedian. He ain't a comedian. And it didn't go off well to me. It didn't go off funny to me. You know what I'm saying? It just went off like, oh, you just trying to dig at my man like you've been digging at him all interview, all throughout this video. And it came off ratchet and it came off like you a ratchet wench. Like, like I want to call you so many other names that I'm not going to call you though. Because I'm going to take a chapter out of my man MTR's book and I'm going to remain intelligent and classy and not do <laughs> what I want to do and call you what I want to call you right now. You know what I'm saying? But I, I used to have respect for, for, for Pearl. And during this whole debacle, some things I, you know, I, definitely I disagree with how Pearl handled it. Some things I thought people were being a little overbearing about. But Pearl has seemed to keep proving me wrong, even when, when I wanted to cheer for her or prove her right on certain points. She just keeps proving me wrong. And so I'm, I'm not going to waste my breath in defending her because she don't need to be defended. She's a lily white woman that comes from good cloth, that got money and this, that, and other, and want to tell everybody how to do. Listen, beat it, man. Beat it. Especially when you're talking about my brother MTR like this. I I, I, I feel like I want to come and comb your head, but I'm, but I'm going to be respectful and, and, and chill out and be the respectful, intelligent black man that I am. But, yo, this is your boy, P-Camp. Tell me what you think and what you don't think. Get at your boy.